Hey YouTube, this is Stardust Toad here, and yeah, we're bringing you an update on one of my favorite decks. I've probably done so many deck profiles on this channel already, but yes, since Age of Overlord is coming out in October, so quite kind of very soon, there's going to be new Pendulum cards in there. So, I actually kind of want to already update my deck, change it up, the ratio stuff, added some cards I never used before to get ready for the new support. Definitely, because I'm looking forward to that Link 3. That actually helps out this deck a lot. I've been testing online. It makes you go into a crazy board. Probably once after this deck profile, hopefully I can actually upload a test uh, test hand video. So, who knows? You guys might be able to see what this deck can do. But yes, I updated this for all the new support. Added some new cards. Got some new cards. So yes, I'm super happy that I can finally give it to you. Because this is my actually my number one favorite deck. This is the deck I fell in love with. Straight away, once I picked up, and I don't think I'll ever take it apart. Of course, I still miss Electromite. <laughs> I miss other cards, too. But yes, enough of me talking. Let's go straight into deck profile. And also, before I go into the deck profile, make sure you subscribe. Right now, currently, what I'm at right now is 199. I'm almost to 200 uh, subscribers. So if you guys can definitely click the subscribe button. Definitely enjoy this content after this video or my other past contents. Uh, definitely subscribe because my goal before this year it rains is to reach 250. We're so close to 200. Also, once we do reach 250, I actually might do a box giveaway. Might give whatever set it's out at that time when I reach 250. I'll uh, get a box and give it to one of you guys. But you guys have to be subscribed first to be entered in that giveaway once it happens. And also I have to reach 250. Right now since I'm almost close to 200, not doing the giveaway. But if you guys subscribe... Definitely will help me a lot. Anyways, enough of that. Let's go into the deck profile. Because I'm excited to show you guys. And yes, I'm super excited for Age of Overload. So, of course, you saw the first card. And, of course, you know this is going to be three of them. We're playing three Performer Palace Scrollbot Jokers. This is, like, one of the best searcher cards of the deck. Also, it's the card that gets Ash the most. And it's actually a decent scale 8. But normally, you don't use it. Well, you could use it for a scale. But normally, what you do is you normal summon it. And then you can add a Magician Pendulum. So, this is pretty much your Stratos of the deck. You normal summon it. And then you can search any Magician that you need. Oh, and also, if you do need to use it as a scale, you can actually use it as a scale 8. So, we definitely play through these. Because Stratos cards, well, this card's freaking busted for the deck. Next up. I say probably say this in every single deck for a lot. I'm surprised this card ain't banned. Is our harmonizing magician? So this is our tuner of the deck. So pretty much mainly what you I mean you could also use it in a scale and it does increase your monsters by 100 points for every face up pendulum. Uh, I think pendulum magician card you have in your extra deck. But mainly what you use this for is that when it's pendulum summon, you can special summon any magician from your deck. Of course, it negates its effects, but. It's a tuner, so you can actually do your synchro plays with this. This is a really busted card. Also, you can't, uh, once you use it, you gotta have, you can't, it's hard to add it back, but if you have Ulf Dragon, you can just add it back to your hand, or other cards that let you add it back to your hand. But this card's freaking busted. I'm surprised it never got touched by the ban list. It actually, in the OCG, I think it has, but not here in the TCG. But yeah, this is a busted card. But yeah, really good card. You can use in the scale too to boost your extra attack if you're going for game, but mainly use it for your synchro plays. Next up, we play three corner raft sorcerers. So this is pretty much the old combo where you actually put in your scale, you pop it, and then you can special summon Time Gazer Magician. For there, you can start doing your link plays. And also, it can come in handy when you can special summon it from your hand whenever your cards get destroyed, but mainly use it for your. And also, you could use it for a scale eight, but it's hard to work with because your magicians have the other magicians. Sadly, this is not a magician, but mainly use it to get Time Gazer Magician out so then you can start link climbing. Next up, a card I just recently got today. I'm super happy if you haven't seen the post. Uh, three Abyss Actors Curd Razors. So the reason why I actually decided to put this in is at three in instead of two, because two has actually had it. I did it because it's a good way. It's like, it's pretty much another Chronograph Sorcerer. So let's say if you open this and Chronograph, you pretty much put this in your scale, special summon it, then you activate Chronograph, uh, Activate Chronograph in scale, some Time Gazer, go into your Link 2. Let's say you haven't got your right scales, go into Beyond the Pendulum, add the card you need, and then from there you can Link Crime. And definitely, this gets a lot more crazier when we get that new Link monster coming out in Age of Overlord, because that lets you go into a board where you can have Borlo Savage Dragon, Baron de Fleur, and a Pulsa out on the forward, and possibly maybe Spellcaster the Village. So your opponent can't play Spell Guards, plus you got a Pulsa that has like two negates on it, so it can stop two monster effects. You got Baron de Fleur, and then you 
you have like a Borlo Sav Dragon with, like with two counters on it. But yeah, this can actually, th that's the reason why I put this at three, so you actually get to see it more, so that you can start doing your link climbing with Conograph Sorcerer. So that's why I put it at three. I had it at two, but I think three is a good way, so you get more consistency. Next up, we play three Ulf Dragon. This is your primary skill too. Also, like I said, this is the card you actually use to add harmonizing uh, back to your hand, or actually any magician. But it's a good way to add harmonizer so you can reuse it over and over again. And also, this is a card you actually use to synchro summon into Baron de Flare with harmonizing magician. But yes, this is your primary mail skill too. That's why I put three in here because it does a lot of stuff for the deck. It's your synchro summoning. It's your skill too, and. Uh, it actually has a decent effect if you're able to special summon because you can special summon a monster from your graveyard. But since pendulums mostly go to your extra deck when they're destroyed, you don't really do it too much. And another card I decided to bump up to three is three Wizardized Magician. This card is freaking busted because it's actually not once per turn, but you use it for its pendulum uh, effect pretty much if you have a magician. So let's say you don't have a scale eight, but you have Ulf Dragon. You put Ulf in there, put Wizardized. Then you can activate with some effect, popping it, and then you can actually switch it with a scale 8. And since this is in your extra deck, and let's say you already have harmonizing, you can add this back to your hand so you can use it as a nerve material for either exceed summon, synchro summon, or link summon. So this is a good card. Also, it's awesome because I actually did this in Master Duel. If you open two of these, you can actually have them, but like I said, it's not once per turn. You can put two Wisdom Eyes, activate one, get the scale 8, and then activate the other to get your lower scale. So this is a busted card. So that's where I, I put it at 3. I used to have it at 2, but I think 3 is good for more consistency. Next up, we play 2 Double Iris Magician. This card actually is your primary scale 8, so this is the one you put in. But also what this card is really good at is because when it's destroyed, it lets you add a star pendulum graph or a time pendulum graph. So then you can, with time pendulum graph, you can interrupt your opponent. Star pendulum graph lets you search even more cards. So this is your primary scale 8. And also, if you control a dark monster, you can actually purposely destroy it, uh, target your magician, uh, it, its effect makes it so it does double bow damage, but you don't really care about that. You're mostly caring about popping it and then searching your time and star graph. But yeah, this is your primary scale 8 that's going to go with Ulf Dragon. Next up, we play two purple poisons. So if you don't have Ulf, this can actually be used as your scale 1. But also, this card's busted because uh, you can actually target a dark monster and it gains a buttload of attack points. I think it gains, let's see, 1200? Let's see. Yeah, 1200. I can't remember. I was like, yeah, it gains 1200, so you can actually, you know, swing for game if you need to or you need to overpower. But the best thing about this thing is when this thing is destroyed, you can actually destroy it. This thing works so well with Time Pendulum Graph because you can activate Time Pendulum Graph, target this card, destroy the card you use Time Pendulum Graph to destroy, it, and then this card can also destroy stuff. But yeah, this card's freaking awesome. I love using it. it also, it is a good scale one if you need to. But Ulf is your primary, but if you need to, you can use that. Next up, we will do Black Fang Magician. Technical, we use this as your other skill if you can't get Double Iris Magician. And also, we use this for, you know, the special summon from Harmonizing Magician, so we can do Exceed like, plays, or we can actually go, you know, Sync or Summoning, all that stuff. And also, like I said, it's a skill 8, so it's pretty good. This actually has the same effect as Dark Rebellion Dragon, but we don't really use it too much. We just use it for, you know, going to bigger stuff. Now, for one of us, we have... Of course, Astrograph Sorcerer. I love this beautiful collector's rare. I need more of this. But yeah, this card is pretty much a really good card because whenever a card's destroyed, you can special summon and then you can search that card that was just destroyed. So, for example, let's say if you have Ulf and then you have Wizmai, you can activate Mizabai's effect, pop itself, and then it'll trigger his effect. He can special summon himself. And then, uh, of course, Wizmai will search for the card and then you can add another Wizmai on top of that. Plus, this gets a body on board, so then if you need to link climb, you can actually use it for link summoning. Plus, it's a pretty good 2500 high attack points, but yeah, one of these, because it's only at one, sadly. It used to be at three, actually, if you guys don't believe that. Next, I will play Perform Power Celestial Magician. So, this could also be used as scale. But mainly we use this because when it's Pendulum Summon actually at the end of the turn, you can actually add uh, a Pendulum Monster. Also, if you control an Exceed Monster, this thing gains 3,000 attack points. And if you control a Synchro Monster, I think it negates all your opponents. Let's see what the Synchro does. Uh, Synchro, your opponent cannot activate Monster Effects. So it pretty much stops from Monster Effects activating on the field. But yes, this is a good card. I like using it. I like it when I have XC Monster and I can do 3,000. And of course, since we play uh, Chronograph, we have one time Gazer. So we special summon and go into 
uh, our thing. Now onto the spells. We play two secret village of spellcasters because we all have spellcasters and this thing just locks out your opponent from playing spell cards. This card's super good against Sky Striker, but yeah, this is good for any deck that relies on spell cards a lot. The only thing, be careful, it's a double-edged sword too. It can suck. And then we play two alert darkness because almost all the creatures we have on our deck are all dark, so, you know, get the cards you need if you need to. And then we play two Duels Alliance. This card's good because this can search any of our Pendulum cards. It can search Double Iris Magician. It can search uh, Time Pendulum. Pendulum Call is actually the main card you search with it. But yes, this is a super awesome card. I was actually thinking about putting it to three, but then I kind of wanted to put uh, uh, Wisdom of Eye at three and, of course, um, what was it? Uh, Abyss Actor. Next up, of course, uh, two Pendulum Call. This card works extremely well with uh, Time Pendulum because a lot of people, a lot of people don't actually read this card. This happens so many times. Uh, if you guys seen my live streams on Master Duel and I'm playing with this deck, this card actually makes it so once you play it, your Pendulum cards cannot be destroyed, and that's the part that's super cool with Time because what Time does is that if a card is not destroyed, if one of the cards is not destroyed, you can just send a card to the graveyard. So what I would do is play this card, get my scales, get Time. Then I'll activate time, target one of the cards I just set in the scale. Also, this is for your opponent's turn, too. So it's your turn that you activate it after, well, after you activate, and then your opponent's turn. And so what you do is you activate time, target the card, then you can destroy a card, but your card's not destroyed, so then you can send another card to the graveyard. But yeah, this card actually lets you search any magician cards, so this is your primary way of getting your scales if you need to. But yeah, super awesome card. But also sometimes it sucks with Electromite because you can't pop your cards. Next up we got 2 star Pendulum Graph. So this is like the card that Double Iris Magician searches it. So whenever a uh, Magician card is destroyed on the field or in your Pendulum Zone, it lets you search a Pendulum Monster. Also, your opponent cannot target Spellcaster Monsters control with Spell Cards. So it pretty much protects it from like Forbidden Lands and I guess Book of Moon counts too, actually. But it protects your stuff from spell cards. But mainly use it so when your cards get destroyed, you can actually search your cards that you need to. And then we play one Terraforming because, well, we have a secret spellcaster to the village. So if you get this, that means you pretty much get that. And then the only two trap cards we have are Time Pendragraph. Kind of explained it a little bit. These are the only trap cards you play. But this thing, like I said, it's super busted with Pendulum Call because you can send a card to the graveyard. So let's say if you have a card that cannot be destroyed by battle or some sort, then you can just send it. And pretty much this card is freaking busted with Pendulum Call. I love this card. This card has won me a lot of games on Master Duel because it's a good interruption too, where you can just pop a card and then you can just add it back to your hand or search it. Like you, this pairs well with Star Pendulum Graph because you know you just pop the card and Star Pendulum Graph will let you search. A card, pretty much to replace the card you just popped, and then of course you destroyed when your opponent sponsors. All right, on to our next. We're going to go into the extra deck. So we play a one time star magician. This is a good card if you need to actually search still, and also whenever a magician card is destroyed, you can just send the top card of your deck. I barely go into this, but it's a good card if you need to, so you can search, you know, that one card that you need for either your scales or to go into full combo. Anyways, next up we play uh, Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion. This is a amazing OTK card. I really wish it had a hollow. Konami, if you're watching this, please, please, I will take a super rare. Get this thing ultra rare. I just want to upgrade because it's been a rare and a common, and that's all we have. And I really want this thing shiny because this card's awesome. It also works when your opponent attacks you too, but pretty much what it does is turn your opponent's monster to zero, and then you gain all that attack, and then you can just run over things. This thing has won me games. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Also, uh, sometimes my opponent doesn't read it, and I just make it, and then they attack me, and then game over for them. And then we play Castiel Skyblazer's Must here. Good card, just to bounce anything that we need to get rid of off the field. Just get rid of it. And a card actually came to love because of Master is Time Thief Redeer. So if you can't, if your opponent interrupts you so badly, you can't really end anything good. This is an option you can go into because it's a good card for taking your opponent's top of their deck. So in the way, it, you know, takes it. And also, you can actually save it by, you know, detached materials. It disappears and it comes back onto the battlefield. Really good card. Also, if you have any spell cards attached to it from your opponent's card, you can actually uh, draw cards too off of this. So this is a really good card if you need to. And of course, a new addition. So happy I finally have one is we have a uh, Divine Arsenal A Zeus Sky Thunder. I don't think I need to say more. I mean, we do have Exceed Monsters that could attack, so if the option comes, we can go into Zeus. Sadly, we can only do it once because we don't play the Zodiac line or the actual Exceed that can stack materials. But still, Zeus is a good card, so we have Zeus in here. 
Now for our synchros, we have Supreme King Dragon Clearing. Like I said, we're Bellin. Konami, if you're listening, please give this a super ultra rare. I really want it. So shiny, so badly. But yeah, this card's really good because actually when it's synchro summon, it pretty much, it's like a Black Rose Dragon, but doesn't blow up your field. So I use it as a board wipe. And uh, it's a good card. I love it. I really want a shiny version. And then, since I mentioned about the combo, of course we have Borlord Savage Dragon. This is good, you no know, eight, good negation too. He also looks awesome. Super happy I got him. I actually got more of him. And then, of course, our one and only Baron de Fleur, because we can actually do it with Harmonizing and Ulf Dragon, and Baron de Fleur is Baron de Fleur. Don't really need to say much about that. Now, for our Link Monsters, this is a new card I added, because this goes with the new combo. With the new card that comes out in Age of Overlord is a Pulsa. We can still do it here, too, with, uh, uh, what was it, Selene. But yeah, Pulsa, good thing we can get two, uh, counters on it. Negates, uh, monster effects, so, you know. Slow down your opponent, but yeah, we can actually make this thing with this deck. It's super simple. And of course, Axis Code Talker, because it's Axis Code Talker, and this is a good uh, game ender card if you need to. It's a good way to swing for game. And then, of course, our Selene. I'm actually thinking that once the new uh, Pendulum Link 3 comes out, I'm actually going to switch it for this, because the new Link 3 does kind of the same thing with Selene. The only thing, the other one doesn't have to worry about is spell counters. This one, you have to have enough spell counters to do it. If you don't, you can't really do it. That's why I kind of like the other new card. That's why I'm super excited when it comes out. I'm switching out with this one. Still a good card. This is still part of the combo you can actually do to go into the Alposa, Baron, the Flare, uh, you know, Thoa stuff. But I feel like the newer card does it a lot more easier because you don't have to worry about spell counters. That's the only thing that's funny. If this thing didn't have to worry about spell counters, it, it, it's good. And of course, we play Nightmare Unicorn, another good Link 3. You know, just about, it's pretty much Celestial, but for a Link Summon, 